Welcome back to the show, everybody. A lot of people have been asking lately, what has Senior been up to? He's making circles right behind me. We're down here on well, the piece of ground where we pulled the basswoods over and those damaged maples and then the two split oaks. We've, well, pretty much got all that stuff cleaned up and he's out here trying to flatten the ground and turn it into something that he can use. So he's had the Ford 8 in out with the back blade cooking around and around and he was just a minute ago talking about how he's gonna need something with a like some decent down pressure because he wants to actually make a better cut through here and actually bring some of that material this way so I think he's um, he's getting ready to fire up the cat 212 grader we haven't had that running for two years now we might have to do a little bit of tuning on it to make it go but um, we'll just see what he feels like doing Are you ready for something with a little more power? Yeah, I don't think this is gonna quite do everything I want it to do. So. All right, that's all I needed to hear. Yeah. So I've got the 212 grader, well, with the cab doors opened up. We're not exactly Han seat um, level in here. It, uh, it cushions you, it's good enough for now. This poor thing, it needs glass. That's starting to get awfully uh, foggy. This glass has been, um, cracked on that door it needs door work it needs it needs a lot of things it just needs everything but we keep it around and keep it going so i did go through and we've got the um the fluid the the grease checked in both of these uh worm drive boxes we're gonna go hit all the grease fittings here shortly uh starting engine is good for oil diesel engine's good for oil we are good for coolant of course with the new rather new uh, radiator core in this um and the resealed water pump we have no excuse to have any leaks anymore and uh we're good for oil in the injection pump we're good on diesel fuel uh senior did just drain we had kind of some oldish gas in the starting engine tank he drained that out just a few minutes ago and now uh, we put about oh half a gallon of fresh in there so we should be good there and we've got the hood off as you can see hood is sitting right there and the reason for that is we found with this engine if it sits for a while it must have a, a just a tiny little fuel leak somewhere because it like it's like it bleeds back so it always gets some like air pockets in it and then it's a difficult first start when we try and crank it after it's been sitting for a while and of course this has been two years on this one so we just pulled the hood right off we'll get the starting engine cranking the diesel and i'll go back here and we'll open these pump bleeders and probably crack the lines of the injectors once it looks like we've got good fuel coming then we'll see if it's going to actually take off and run. In the meantime, uh, we need to make sure we have some brakes, all right? Uh, this thing also, we've done some brake work to it in the past, but sometimes we come around and the pedal's not great, so let's just start checking that real quick. So Senior found a good spot to work under here. Get up to where, there we can see the master cylinder. We replaced that and the brake lines and the wheel cylinders and cleaned up the shoes, what, four or five years ago now? I don't know about that. How's it looking for fluid in there? Well, I'd say we're that far from the top. We we're should good be enough good. To... Yeah, let's do, let's try a bleed out at the wheel cylinders and just yeah, make sure that we've got working we got brakes. Pedal first. I haven't test, test, tested the pedal yet. And watch your head, because right above you, it's really greasy. Oh, yeah. It's really bad. <laughs> well, I'm just going to put that finger tight for now. Uh, I don't have a pedal. Is it coming up at all? Yeah, it's, it's pumping up. It's a little higher every one. Uh, nothing leaking. She ain't um, fading down. She's holding. Should we just go with it and see how it... Uh, let's do a bleed and see right. if we can do get any air. You got pressure on it? Yep. No air at all back from this corner. Let's try the other one. Pump it up again. No pressure. A little bit of air coming out of there. Okay, pump it up again. Yeah, we got air on this side. Okay, pressure. 
It's still pushing air. Pump it up again. Now we're good. Looking good now. Pump it up, see what happens. Well, we'll just push it down, see if we got a pedal. Go ahead. Yeah, we got half a pedal. All right, got brakes again. All right, we're ready for a start. Let's just see what happens with it.
All right, Senior's gonna try and maneuver it out of here because we got so much junk and the trailer's kind of right in front of it. And he mentioned seeing if he could actually like set the blade down and like maybe do like a side shift and kind of like, like crab walk it out a little bit. We'll see, the last time we used it, the controls on the knuckle buster box were really starting to skip in here. So we'll see how well that works. He's got weight off the front wheels. I love watching all those shafts and everything spin. squeeze through I think he's gonna make it oh maybe not oh he's got her now Once again, that is the same D3400 diesel engine that 5J1113 uses. So it's a D2 sized grader, if you will. This one's a 1946 model year. So this is just at the tail end of D3400 production run. that engine is the best thing in the world for it you can tell by the steady plume of smoke it just sits around way too much we just don't run this machine as often as we should
senior has dismounted from the cab. Are you pretty much happy with it, or? Well, it's good enough for what it is. That's really a tough spot for a short run, kind of uneven. It's run. hard. It's hard to get a good cut going. Yeah. Yeah. Level, yeah for what it is, it's good. We'll just touch her up with the Ford tractor now. And get some, uh, Few little piles around the edges where this thing's just too big to do anything else with them, but yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied with it. How's that uh, gearbox doing in the cab? Needs lots of work. Yeah, that's what I thought. I can hear it clicking quite a bit. Pretty really ratcheting anymore. But it all the time. it's good to run this thing though. We don't run this nearly enough. Uh, it needs some hours. Yeah. Yeah, it needs some work too. So it's a lot better than it was down here though. Uh, it's looking good, I think. Happy with it right there? Hey, the temp gauge works. Shows about 170, 175. That's kind of neat. Still holds oil pressure, even uh, warmed up at a lower idle. There. You know, I think I'd actually paint this one. I kind of want to. That's how you test to see who's watching to the very end right there. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> you have at it, but I'm not going to get into it. Thanks for watching, everybody.